The storm could disrupt your Valentine's Day plans. Local flower shops are trying to figure out how to make good on those all-important deliveries. 5 News reporter Tiffany Lee spoke with a local shop to find out how, how they plan to handle the storm. This Valentine's Day, you might be getting more than chocolates or flowers because we could see some snow. Snow, which could impact how local shops are doing their delivery. We've seen a big increase in delivery. It's so convenient. And Mary Grace McCauley tells us that Valentine's Day is no exception. I've been here six years and uh, of course we've had cold weather, but nothing like this. As if flower shops didn't have enough to worry about with COVID and contactless delivery orders being at an all time high. Now because of the winter weather threat, they have to worry about how to get the flowers to their destination safely. We have uh, vehicles out every day making deliveries, so we're always concerned about the safety of our drivers, whether it's wet roads or, or what, but uh, this makes it even a bigger uh, situation, having ice and snow out there. The temperatures are the other challenge because uh, we keep our flowers around 38 degrees, um, so they're used to cold temperatures, but not below freezing temperatures, so we have to really be careful. But Macaulay tells us if the last year has taught them anything, it's how to always be prepared and roll with the punches, even if that means that their customers get their special gift a little early. If we anticipate that the weather is going to be really bad, which it looks like it is, we'll probably start calling people and let them know, letting them know we can try and accommodate their delivery tomorrow instead of Sunday or, you know, asking them to come in and pick up instead of Sunday. But no matter what the forecast holds here at Pigment, they say they'll do whatever it takes to make sure that their customers have the best Valentine's Day ever. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Tiffany Lee, 5 News. The shop has a plan in case snow begins to make travel tricky and will start calling customers today and tomorrow about pickup or moving their delivery.